1998, at the age of 23, Brett Kelly published Collective Wisdom, which became a national bestseller. This resulted in an exceptional opportunity for Brett to address the National Press Club, alongside Senator Natasha Stott Despoja. With a TV audience of over 300,000 viewers, the National Press Club is Australia's most recognised forum for major public statements. I've learnt that we can all be different by focusing on what's positive. I think at a time when we've got people who seem to be scared and paranoid about difference, and even worse about change, it's probably a useful thing for us to remember. In 1998, the success of Collective Wisdom catapulted Brett Kelly into the public spotlight and was a significant milestone in Brett's career. The release of Brett's second book in 2005 resulted in Brett Kelly's second appearance at the National Press Club alongside Malcolm Turnbull. Titled Universal Wisdom, the book examined the lives of seven people who changed the world, including Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa and Martin Luther King. He's looked at the life and career of quite a number of people and he's produced a second book. The first one was called Collective Wisdom. Uh, the second one is called Universal Wisdom. But certainly Brett is continuing in a very fine tradition and he has assembled a collection of some of the most influential men and women of our times and sought to draw some common threads of wisdom from their uh, often very tumultuous lives. Following the success of Collective Wisdom, the release of Universal Wisdom marked another major milestone in Brett Kelly's career as a successful author and businessman.